Uh, we are getting ready to write code for your push button sensor to make robot rolls. That you should be able to push this and it will stop. That's kind of the thing. All right, so here we go. All right, first, always gotta make sure, gotta have your movement. You got that there? And you have your start moving forward. Now, if then you want one of these. Uh, repeat until blank. Then put these within there. Okay, and that's called a loop. Yeah. Right. So it constantly loops over and over again until something happens. Okay. Then you go to your sensors. Pick your sensor of choice, which is this. And you either pick pressed, hard pressed, or released, which are self explanatory. Right. But we're just going to use pressed for this one. But I don't like using this when doing that. I like to have it slowly move forward. So I'm going to pick the move forward for blank amount of time. I usually do inches because it's easier to know. Then after this is set up, always got to stop movement at the end. And go to your controls, stop all, and exit program. All right, Ninja Dave, you are a ninja when it comes to dealing with these wonderful little Lego robots. How cool is it? Now, we did make a little change on yours. We took one of the motors and uh, unplugged it, and uh, you'll have to go back and plug that back in when you're ready for it. But we plugged in your sensor uh, to make it so it'll be able to uh, connect to this. All right with a loving heart <laughs> very good again thank you ninja dave all right so we're about to deploy code and uh, how do we do that dave all right after you get your connected and you have your code and all stuff either you can press the button on the robot to deploy it will make it start or you press the play button itself okay and so so if we do it here you just click it in a place all right and this it should oh. <laughs> it's excellent. Yeah, that way I can keep up with it. But is this supposed to be using the touch sensor or is this a... Uh, which one was this code? I can't remember. All right. Yeah, make it a little bit slower. Your movement. That movement speed. Then 25%. All right. Make sure it recognizes it. Then just... All right, it stopped there. I saw it. I think I got it to stop. So, yeah. And so, so very good. Let, let's make it run just a little bit longer, and we're just going to go just straight, not stop. And so, give it a little bit more distance. A bit more distance. Well, yeah. you don't need to give it any more distance. It's full constant repeat until it's touched. Okay. So, so it's it's pausing. How do we get it to just keep on rolling so it's straight and it doesn't pulse? So with this, you just don't use this. You just move. Start moving forward. Could you go back and show me what you got rid of there? I apologize. I got rid of this one right here. The 10 inches. Gotcha. Very good. This is why you can say it is interchangeable. Okay, very good. Okay, I see. I see. All right. So now this thing should run. I'm just going to lift it up and go ahead and run it. All right. Okay. Until I push that button, and guess what it does? It stops. It stops. Run it one more time for me. until I hit that button yay so it's just a different way in how that program has been written and so I want to go ahead and zoom in here so you can see what Ninja Dave has created and you can pause it right here Bryant that way you've got a chance to be able to make it happen but what we did you notice that it was pulsing before that's what caused it to pulse and and we just replaced it with is it this one right here Dave just start moving. Just start moving. Very good. And uh, and you know, that's kind of, we'll show you how that kind of works. All right. As always, Ninja Dave, you're a ninja. Great job with the uh, program.